so I found him. I had to uh, search for years worth of uh, question time videos on YouTube. But I found him. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a quick one because the song isn't one that needs to be a 40 minute video like a backpack is long. Although I could very well make one. I just I'm just gonna go through the basic things you can find off the buddy, you know, how they vote.org and places like that. It's just to this man's voting record in contrast to the uh the, the electorate he lives in and the opinions he says he holds. So let's just, let's just start with the stuff he's for, shall we? So the increasing of medicine costs like, for uh, like concession holders. It's the, uh, you know, the gap where the concession holders paying this much for their medicine, the government pays the rest. They, you know, this bill is to, the idea was to incrementally bring that up. Kind of like the way uh, taxing of uh, tobacco works actually, just with medicine. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. Lowering the corporate tax rate, no surprise there for something that predominantly affects, you know, businesses that earn more than, you know, millions of dollars in a year. Um, the, um, the welfare cards, uh, they're both temporary and the full, you know, trying to bring that in thing. He, he was in support of that. He's always in support of reducing the availability and ability to access welfare payments. But, the, the, you know, as well, him trying to get rid of uh, job keeper and job seeker um, comes to mind actually. Like when most of the town was sitting there, like, no, no, we're one of the places that are fine examples to why you got to keep it going longer. He's like, nah, nah. He was one of them that voted against it. And as you know, they did end uh, job keeper. Um, he's also someone that's constantly voting against. Uh, like raising it by like the normal job keeper amount by any amount and there's experts and shit like that that'll turn around and say it's like no no that's actually something you should be doing the charging of postgraduate graduate student fees as well and then you know just for some honorable mentions on the things he's for as well you know doesn't really surprise you him being a liberal but you know scrutiny of unions and you know reducing the union's ability to protect uh, its employers, uh, employees in the workplace from employers. And that, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, considering he's, you know, again, a liberal. But then we get to the things that he's against, uh, according to his voting record, which is uh, funny because some of this stuff is really meant to be for, even now uh, with some of the last ones on the list here, uh, having to do with Something that was going through the news about three or four weeks ago about the religious discrimination uh, bill. But anyway, renewable investment. And uh, he's uh, not a big fan of renewable investments. Anytime something like that does come this way, he's, you know, he's out front and he's taking these pretty pictures and he's saying, now oh, it's a great idea and it's going to be a great thing for Cairns. But well, when it comes to voting for him beforehand, like, it's almost like you got to sneak it past him, because, again, like, renewable, like, all the renewable investment stuff that goes through Parliament, and all the stuff that's, you know, trying to stop, you know, trying to stop that slow transition from fossil fuels to, like, you know, renewables, he's against, he's just against, like, sure, there's the odd few times where he might vote yes to something, but... Again, 90% of the things he's voting for are directly against the idea of renewables coming here sooner than later. And, yeah, um, the, the, you know, ending detention on Nauru and Manus Islands, like, regardless of how you feel about, you know, refugees or immigration, what's going on on those islands is just downright wrong. It literally makes our country seem like I'm sorry, it makes our country seem like we're Germany during World War II, throwing people in camps and abusing them. Like, sure, we're not abusing them for science or some ridiculous madman fucking reason, but we're still stuffing them in camps and they are still suffering abuse as a result. Ending illegal logging, that was, you know, another thing he never really was down for. And, uh, 
Yeah, the disability, uh, the, in, the commission into disability um, abuse in the disability sector. It's a very weird one to vote no against. I mean, then again, yeah, liberals, they don't like li uh, royal commissions into anything. Like, because usually those things have a bad habit of, like, finding their wrongdoing in more than just the areas that they're, you know, supposed to investigate. Um, another one that surprises me is, uh, he's always voting against increasing the age pension. So it's like, does he plan on retiring at some point? Because he says he is, like... He's actually retired once, and, you know, maybe he realised that the pension he'd lowered for, you know, he'd set for himself wasn't high enough, so he's come back, you know? I mean, he's having no luck this time, so he thought he was going to retire, like, oh, wait, no, I still haven't, I still haven't re-increased the bloody, uh, aid pension. Oh, I, I better try and get rid of a lot of just one more firmly. Right? Oh, just, just one more. <sighs> I don't know, I just, I, I feel it, it, it's kind of fitting that a man who owns, you know, uh, owns the entire property he lives on, owns a grazing property on top of that, and through his wife an investment property, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not surprising this guy doesn't really, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, I'm, it's not surprising this guy doesn't give a flying fuck about the age pension. Sorry to all those folks in cans that are vote for this man because I think he's going to stick up for him in that regard. Ugh. In another regard, there's uh, those who might think he would stick up for them because they want to marry somebody who's the same gender as they are. I'm sorry, as much as the media even might try and convince you, I, I'm just not convinced that this man is actually in support of same-sex marriage or like, rights of any kind described to, like, homosexual, you know, lesbian or, like, trans individuals. Like, I, I really don't, because, I mean, right up until 2014, 2014 being the moment where he apparently had this, you know, I made it his, you know, go to Sydney for Christmas and come back a woman, and that's where he changed his perspective. But right up until then, he was, you know, pretty actively against uh, gay marriage and same-sex marriage, which was the conversation being had at the time. You know, the trans issues weren't too much of a thing being written down, and it was being talked about by the gospel, and yeah. Now, he was against every bill that came through to try and legalise the concept of the same genders marrying. He was against it, and then in 2014, he publicly comes out and, you know, says he's all for it, and the media has treated him like a redneck, a redneck sort of uh, campaigner for gay marriage and same-sex marriage and all that. But yeah, like more recently, the way he backed out of something he had said many a times that he is committed to, the way he backed out and left a lot of young, like yeah, okay, liberal, but left a lot of young politicians that were out there trying to, you know, fight for changes to something that they saw as wrong, that they saw would strip rights away from, you know, members of, like, you know, some of their constituents. And then as well, the Labour Party and, the, you know, everyone on that side of the fence trying to bring these things through. And, yeah, he... I don't want to say stabbed them in the back, I would actually rather refer to a Sydney Morning Herald uh, article that tried to defend him and just say, he's tired, he's done. It's evident that even if this man like does believe in the things that he believes in, he doesn't have the energy to to go forward anymore, like, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the drive to stand up to even his own buddies in Parliament. Like, sure, it's, it's all fine and dandy if it's a Labour politician or whatever, or it's a union member or whatever, that's all fine and dandy. He'll let the media do the bashing on that regard. But when it comes to, when, when it comes to him, he'll do little more on most days than, will you please update the house? And we need more than that in Cairns. Like, 
I'm sorry, I, we do. So, myself looking out and around and seeing how tired and, you know, worn down Mr. Ench is, is, uh, and as well with all the other political things going on in this country, it's the reason that I, uh, you know, I went and started volunteering for a political party, but, you know, and for, a, you know, a Labour candidate, like, it's come to that point. Now, I'm not saying, you know, go join Labour or whatever. I'm, I'm just saying go vote. Like, and put that man last. Like, for your own sake, it's not, it's not for my sake, it's not for some pen pusher's sake, it's for your sake. Like, I don't know business owners, I don't know buddy, you know, millionaires or whatever. I know people that work and I know people that are looking for work. They're the predominant people in my friend circle and I say this to you, is just vote. V vote for whatever candidate you fucking, you know, you think looks good or whatever. Hell, even if you wanted to vote for one of them One Nation or Karma United people, I'm... You know, I'm gonna give you shit for it in person, but like I'm not gonna have some moral problem with that. What I will have a problem with is listening to people sit there and complain about politics, complain about how they're all as bad as each other, but not do anything about it. Because they go, oh, voting is all rigged, or it's all this, or it's all that, it's pointless. It's like you're voting for a douchebag or a turd sandwich. It's like, well, guess what? You're not. We're voting against one party. They may call themselves two, the Liberal National Party, but they're still basically one party, and we are voting against them. They are our problem. They are the party of big business, and they are the party of true corruption in this country. So whatever the fuck you do, whatever candidate they put forward in your town, here in Leichhardt, it's Warren Inch again, even though he was going to retire, put him last. Put him dead fucking last. Because there's only 170,000 people living in Cairns, and there's not that many people living, uh, you know, on top of that, living up on the Cape inside of our electorate. We can sway this, and we can sway it very fucking easily. Especially considering the, the person who's running this year on the Labour side of the fence, for example, is literally somebody who had, you know, nearly did it last time. Like, a light of faith didn't lose by that big of a margin last time. Like... <sighs> Anyway, th th this should be a fucking enough. I'm actually going to start getting angrier. Have a beautiful afternoon, and, well, the fuck you for voting Liberal. And don't forget to subscribe.